Thanks to Ekela, New Caledonia Tourism and Sheraton Diva, we have an amazing luxury holiday for two up for grabs. Now, if you haven't entered yet, we will tell you how to do that in just a moment. But first, Debbie's been to the tropical paradise and is back to show us another part of it this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, when I was in New Caledonia, Everyone would say to me, you've got to go to the Isle of Pines. It is beautiful. And I've got to tell you, we got there and beautiful just doesn't even start to describe it. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's about 100 k's to the southwest of New Caledonia's main island. And it is an absolute gem. Take a look. So you arrive in New Caledonia and you think you found paradise. And then you get to Ile de Pain. And this place takes paradise to a whole nother level. It's tiny, just 13 k's wide and 15 k's long. The inhabitants, native Melanesian Kanaks, and the population, fewer than 3,000. People that come, tourists, come from uh, everywhere in the world, they're always amazed about the, the way we work, the way we are close, the way we are, the brotherhood that we have in between us. So if you were to understand the way we live, the best way is to come and melt into. It's that strong cultural identity that makes the people special and the pristine clear waters and white sand that's earned it the name the island closest to paradise. Surprisingly, Upi Bay is not the most visited but it is the most spectacular. It's a close place so it's very quiet there and you have like those mushrooms coming out from the sea and when you sail through it it's just amazing to pass through this emerald water with these big rocks coming out from the sea. The best way to see Upi Bay is on a traditional pirogue made from the trees that give this island its name. Il de Pain is one of the islets that has maintained the building of the pirogue traditionally. So showing that to the people, it's a must and it's, it's a proud for us because not every other islet does it. And it's done, it's done since our ancestor until now by hand. It's not even machines. Serena is mindful of keeping visitor numbers down. This is, after all, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I'm proud to show you that my home is still the same. Let's try to work together, but not to destroy anything. Maintain it on a long-term basis and make it work in a nice way, not to pollute or not to destroy or not to watch what we're doing because this is our, this is our patrimoine, I'll say. This is our home. Brush Island looks like its name and it's not unusual to be the only one here, making it a great place for a picnic. But today we're heading to Morrow Island for lunch. It's the local delicacy, lobster. <laughs> it's going to be special <laughs> for lunch cool. today. Right. Plus you're going to have fish. He does both. He does lobster and fish because these are seafood from Ile de Pain. These are speciality from Ile de Pain. Another specialty is giant snails and who better to cook them for us but a classically trained French chef. You can only eat them in uh, Ile de Pain. You're not allowed to get them uh, even in Numea anywhere else. You can only eat them in Le Pain, uh, they're the perfect snail. So this is a specialty of the yes. island, it's pretty special yes. to have that here. Yes. What, are they different to other snails you find in other places? They're a bit bigger, right. yes. Okay. They're bigger and uh, much nicer than the French uh, snail. Chef Benoit has created two dishes for me, the classic snail in garlic butter and snail in a bourguignon or red wine sauce with plenty of other local ingredients. It's a local seaweed that people, they, uh, they really love it. Mm. For me, I call it uh, gold. Everywhere I've been traveling, I always try to, um, to respect the local uh, product because um, it's important for the people and uh, even, uh, even for myself and the team, it's, uh, it's a minimum respect to, um, to give back, really. Oh, boy! <laughs> is this a surgical... <laughs> is this surgery? This may take a little practice. Mmm. That's amazing. It's, it's actually really soft. It's a lot softer mm. than I thought. Mm. That's amazing. Thank you. If you like mushroom... Uh, yeah, that's exactly the same. It's pretty much close to mushroom. Mmm. And the sauce is amazing too. Okay. Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> Cheers, bravo. Chin -chin. Thank you very much.
have a chef of Benoit's calibre at Le Meridien is part of the five-star experience for guests. Uh, Le Meridien Ile de Pays uh, is a luxurious boutique hotel. It's smaller than the two other resorts we have. It's only 48 uh, accommodation. Uh, it's like an island on the island. You arrive to the resort crossing a, a little bridge and then you're in a coconut grove. You hardly see the, the bungalows. It's very quiet, very peaceful. It's like time stands still. Le Meridien Ile de Pain embodies the quintessential Pacific Island getaway. That looks amazing. <laughs> I'm seriously jealous. I really want to go there right now. So tell me about this prize that we're giving away. Okay, I'm so excited about this because one lucky viewer and a friend will enjoy the hospitality flying Air Calan to New Caledonia. They'll stay for four nights at the luxuriously five-star Sheraton Diva Spa and Golf Resort. And getting there is all taken care of because the airport transfers in New Caledonia are included and an amazing buffet breakfast is also included in this prize as well. Now, once our winners are there, they will have the choice of chilling out in paradise or enjoying the activities on offer like the glass bottom boat or the paddle on the water like I did as well. So go to our website to enter and good luck to all of our viewers. It's an amazing prize. That looks absolutely outstanding. Yeah. What yeah. a great thing to win. Hey Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck everyone. Good luck entering.